Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're making improvements to your home so that you can sell it for top dollar, put down the hammer and watch this video first. The truth is, if your home is dated, you might have to do some updates in order to sell your house quickly and boost its market price. But not all updates are going to net you the most on your sale. Today, I'm gonna give you my top home improvements that will give you the biggest return on your investment. I'm Joe Nelson of the Nelson Home Group, Kansas City's highest rated real estate team on Google. After listing hundreds of homes in the Kansas City Metro, I've seen first-hand improvements that have helped sellers make bank and others that have sunk cost and wasted time. Unless you're doing a complete home flip, completely renovating those kitchens and bathrooms is going to be too expensive for what you'll gain at the closing table. What you want is the simplest of improvements that are going to bring you the biggest return when it comes to what you can sell your home for. If you want to know which is which before you prepare your home to hit the market, then keep watching. First up on my list is flooring. This one is a huge help to boosting the selling power of your home. A house can have new countertops, fresh paint, and fancy appliances, but if carpets are thin and stained or linoleum is starting to bubble up in the bathroom, not only will this make your home look dirty, but also dated. Flooring spreads across the entire square footage of the home. You can't not see it. In fact, it is literally the first thing you see when you open that door as you step and make sure you don't trip on the threshold. I often get asked if the seller could just offer an allowance to the buyer so they don't have to mess with it. And with the belief that the buyer would rather pick it out themselves. Great in theory, not ideal in practice in my opinion. An otherwise updated and beautiful home with outdated carpet or flooring may deter buyers not wanting to move all of their furniture a second time to upgrade their own floors after just moving in. The good news is that a lot of great looking and quality flooring options are affordable and easy to have installed. Carpet especially can be purchased and installed at a relatively low cost with some options as low as a couple bucks a square foot, giving you the ability to brighten a room, make it instantly tidier and cleaner and more modern with little investment on your part. That said, don't buy the cheapest carpet that when you hold it up to the light, you can see right through it. And your budget will also depend somewhat on the price point of your home. You don't want the cheapest, but you also don't need the most expensive. And the quality should roughly match the quality of the rest of the finishes in the home. It's easy to tell when flooring is new and it'll give an upgraded feel and a appearance, and believe it or not, smell, to each room it's in, even if you don't do any other updates. Carpet is also fairly easy to find with big names like Lowe's or Home Depot carrying the materials and offering installation. If you have to choose just one thing to boost your home's appeal on a budget, this is probably the way to go. The next improvement you can make that's easy on the wallet but big on return is paint. A fresh coat of paint covers marks and oil stains from everyday living that cleaners can't erase. It gives the walls an even texture. More importantly, just like with carpet, painting gives you the opportunity to brighten and modernize the look of your home without having to lift a hammer or break the bank. A quick Google search can tell you what wall and cabinet colors are popular with current buyers, or better yet, a professional stager can let you know exactly what colors in each room are on the rise. We offer each of our sellers a free consultation with our home stager for easy interior changes to make your home show ready. This painting tip goes for the outside too. Make sure not to neglect the areas around the window sills, especially places where you see cracks or chips in the paint. Not only will addressing these improve the curb appeal of your home, but remedying chipped and peeling paint can be called out as a condition of appraisal on government-backed loans like VA and FHA. Paint, like carpet, also gets you a lot of bang for your buck. You see it throughout the entire home and it's relatively inexpensive compared to bigger upgrades. It may also be something that you can do yourself with minimal prep and labor, so no need for pricey contractors. Word to the wise though, if you do it yourself, do it right and do it well. If you get paint all over the trim and the floors and the ceilings, please hire someone. It looks tacky and buyers will spot it from a mile away. And once they feel a home is DIY, they start looking for that specifically and become overly critical on everything. Make sure to pick current popular colors that will brighten up the home and remain neutral at the same time, as well as flow with other finishes or styles of the home. Moving on, my third tip is to update your light fixtures. Now, this one is twofold. You want the fixtures themselves to be contemporary, but you also want the light quality to be bright. 
Dim rooms won't photograph as well for marketing as brighter ones do, and a well-lit home is more inviting to potential buyers. Change out those light bulbs for a consistent warmth level throughout the house, and make sure to replace any bulbs that have gone out. When it comes to choosing light fixtures to update, think of areas of the home that get the most traffic. Entryways, kitchen chandeliers, overhead lights in the living room and master bedroom and vanity lights in the main bathroom will have the highest visibility and be the most important. Just updating those few fixtures will elevate the look of each room. And this goes for ceiling fans as well. Popular modern styles can be found at places like Home Depot or Lowe's for around $100 to $150, making this a much more feasible upgrade to get the look and feel of a remodel without tearing apart an entire room. These can also be done yourself, just make sure you're comfortable on a ladder and flip Flip that breaker in the electrical panel that operates that fixture. If that has you a bit nervous, even hiring a pro for this won't break the bank. We have an excellent electrician we will gladly recommend in the local KC area. Here's a bonus tip for you. Buyers tend to prefer homes with more cosmetic updates, even if mechanical and other big ticket items are dated, as long as they're functional. I call this putting lipstick on a pig. It's an expression you've probably heard before. Even though I usually advise my buyers to opt for something that may be cosmetically dated, but has been well-maintained or has newer mechanical systems, it's a fact of life that people prioritize aesthetics. It's what you'll actually see most often in a home. I still believe you should put the functionality of a home first so your money can go to the lower cost finishes rather than replacing things like expensive HVAC equipment. But I would be remiss if I didn't let my sellers know the weight these cosmetic updates really have in boosting market value. Your realtor should do a walkthrough before you start any improvements for selling so they can assess what items would get you the most bang for your buck in your market before you spend a penny. Here's a good example of why. A few years ago, a little earlier in my real estate career, I had an appointment with a potential new seller. When I showed up for the listing consultation, he told me about the things he had already done to prepare his home for the market before I'd even had a chance to come to the house. He had put a very cheap, basic plank flooring throughout the house to save money over the pricier but much better looking flooring. This was a huge five bedroom house. You could visibly tell it was fake rather than wood and it was through the entire thing. He also bought an expensive new refrigerator that added no additional value to the home at all. Had he allowed me to tour the house first, I would have been able to explain to him that when doing floor in LVP, it's important to choose the higher quality in order to get the desired look. I also also would have nixed the new fridge. Leaving a fridge in your home for sale, in our KC market at least, does not add value to the home. Yes, not even a new one. Had he put that money toward better flooring, I believe his house would have sold quicker and for more money. Okay, there you have it. The speech I give almost every home seller. The three top things to invest in your home before listing flooring, light fixtures, and paint. At the end of the day, the lesson is always to let your agent help you because every house can be very specific. We see what features are selling in our local markets and have trusted contractors who can help you get the job done. My goal as your listing agent is always to help you sell your home in the time frame needed and net the most money at the end of the sale. If you're in the Kansas City area and you're curious what your home is worth, I'm gonna leave a link in the description to request a free home valuation. But that wraps it up for today. Let me know what updates you've made to your home before selling in the comments. Did it help you make the sale? Did you end up regretting it? Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for a new Kansas City lifestyle or real estate video every single week. And if you'd like to put KC's number one marketing plan to work for you, call or text me today. My number is on the screen and in the description below. Let my team be your Kansas City real estate experts. See you next time.